way. I'm the most relevant voice on the planet Earth. So don't try to tell me anything. Help me. What do you think about Kanye rant? What's going on with Kanye? From a distance, obviously, I don't know how well you know Kanye. I don't know if you've been around Kanye, but from a distance. In a shocking turn of events, renowned comedian Cat Williams has left audiences reeling with his latest outburst. Known for his no-holds-barred approach, Williams didn't hold back during his recent appearance on Shannon Sharp's podcast, Club Shay Shay. The entertainment world is buzzing with Williams' bold, unfiltered comments, particularly his scathing critique of Yee. I suspect that we're pretty awful people if we say that somebody got a mental illness and then we watch what they do. Williams, always a figure of controversy, took his outspoken nature to new heights, calling Ya crazy in a manner that not only stunned listeners but also raised eyebrows across the industry. His tirade didn't stop at West. In a move that's got everyone talking, Williams also threw jabs at West's ex-wife and his legions of fans. The details of his remarks have become the subject of intense discussion, stirring up a storm on social media and beyond. What do you expect? The guy married on Like, what? Oh, Lord. Like, <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I mean, married her because she was one. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this jaw-dropping story where the lines between comedy and reality blur, and the outspoken Cat Williams holds nothing back. This is one interview that's set to redefine celebrity feuds, leaving the audience both enthralled and divided. And before we dive into the explosive revelations from Cat Williams, let's take a closer look at the controversial journey of Ive Ye, the man who is no stranger to making headlines for all the wrong reasons. West's career has been marked by a series of provocative statements and actions, pushing the boundaries of public opinion and often leaving the world in shock. Martin Louis the King Jr. Uh, address me as such. It all began in 2013 when West found himself in hot water after making a troubling remark during an interview on a New York radio show. He drew outrage by suggesting that black people don't have the same level of connections as Jewish people and later had to retract his statement, dismissing it as an ignorant compliment. This wasn't his first taste of controversy, though. In 2011, he had compared himself to Hitler during a concert, claiming that people hated him as much as they did the infamous dictator. West's tendency to court controversy didn't wane as his career soared. He famously declared during a 2005 telethon that George Bush doesn't care about black people, a statement that garnered both support and criticism. But as time went on, it became increasingly clear that West's actions were often driven by a desire for power and attention rather than a genuine concern for social issues. In 2015, he boldly proclaimed, racism is a dated concept, a statement that seemed far removed from his earlier activist stance. Despite Yee's history of questionable behavior and comments, his remarks continue to find a platform, thanks to podcasts and news programs eager to have a front row seat to the Yee Show. His words, sometimes bordering on hate speech, seemed more about garnering attention than expressing genuine beliefs. He even admitted to his aversion to reading, and those on the right wing who were eager to capitalize on his remarks were more than happy to oblige. No, but you, you, have, at, you have to understand this wait, idea bro, of the Jewish bro, media. Hey, hey, that's that, not how it works. Don't You're do talking that. to me la, right la, now. La, 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 la. So every celebrity. <laughs> Fast forward to 2016, a year marked by West's public endorsement of President elect Donald Trump shortly after the election. During a concert in Sacramento, he launched into a tirade criticizing Hillary Clinton and praising Trump, leading to jeers from the disappointed audience. I just love Trump. That's my boy. Like, I love this guy right here. Let me give this guy a hug right here. I love this guy right here. The incident marked the beginning of West's shift towards devout Christianity and right-wing rhetoric, eventually culminating in the cancellation of the remaining dates on his St. Pablo tour and reports of his hospitalization for a psychiatric emergency. In 2018, West's fascination with conservative commentator Candace Owens became evident. He expressed admiration for her thinking and made headlines by suggesting that American chattel slavery was a choice for those who suffered through it, a statement that drew widespread condemnation. Owens would go on to involve Ye in her Blexica campaign, encouraging black voters to leave the Democratic Party, though she later backtracked on his involvement. We are out. We are following other people's opinion. West's mental health struggles also came into focus during this time. He expressed his dissatisfaction with medication and revealed that he was taking it sparingly, fearing it might stifle his creativity. He accused the media of controlling people's opinions and claimed that it was time for a change. By 2019, West's antics seemed somewhat explained by his newfound faith. He launched the Sunday Service Choir and produced an opera called Nebuchadnezzar, signaling his commitment to his Christian beliefs. However, 
his behavior continued to be erratic and controversial. As you probably could have guessed by this moment, I have decided in 2020 to run for president. The year 2020 marked a tumultuous period in West's personal life as rumors swirled about the impending end of his marriage to Kim Kardashian. His posts on social media became increasingly obsessive and targeted towards Kim, eventually leading to the release of albums containing explicit references to their separation. His music video for the single Easy showed him murdering an animated version of Kim's then-boyfriend, Pete Davidson. West's feuds extended beyond his personal life as he clashed with major brands like Adidas, Gap, and J.P. Morgan. Through it all, Candace Owens remained one of the few supporters in his corner, defending his actions and choices. I am Shakespeare in the flesh, Walt Disney, Nike, Google. Then came 2022, a year that would be forever etched in infamy for Ye. During a Yeezy Season 9 presentation in Paris, he unveiled a t-shirt with the phrase White Lives Matter, featuring an image of Pope John Paul II on the front. This move was widely condemned in the fashion world, with many criticizing his appropriation of a phrase associated with white supremacists. Yet didn't stop there. He made baseless claims about Lal Vem Hay's connection to the passing of Virgil Abloh and delved into hateful conspiracy theories about Jewish control in entertainment and sports industries. In interviews and social media posts, West's love for the sound of his own voice became evident, drowning out any reasoned discussion. His remarks became increasingly anti-Semitic, leading to backlash from the public. When I run for president in 2024, we want to definitely know what y'all laughing at. 2023 brought a feeble attempt at damage control from Ye. After brands like Balenciaga and Adidas cut ties with him over his anti-Semitic outbursts, he was banned from ex formerly known as Twitter for posting offensive images and private messages. In March, he posted an Instagram message that attempted to mend fences with the Jewish community, but was met with skepticism. In the midst of it all, Ye quietly prepared for his return to the limelight, appearing on Travis Scott's tour and causing a stir in the tabloids with NSFU photos taken with his then-girlfriend, Bianca Sensory. He teased the release of his upcoming album, Vultures, but his attempts at humor and pseudo-apologies only served to further alienate him from the public. As we reflect on West's controversial journey, it becomes clear that his actions and statements have consistently stirred controversy and outrage. Now, with Cat Williams poised to reveal explosive revelations about West, the stage is set for a collision of two larger-than-life personalities in the world of entertainment. Will Cat's revelations further expose the controversial side of Yi, or will they bring unexpected twists to this ongoing saga? Let's get into it. In a no-holds-barred interview that sent shockwaves through the entertainment world, Cat Williams didn't pull any punches when he took aim at none other than Yi. The comedian, speaking on Shannon Sharp's club Shay Shay podcast, didn't mince words as he dissected the controversial rapper's behavior. Williams, who's been known for his candidness, didn't shy away from comparing Yi to someone with a mental illness. He questioned society's fascination with West's erratic behavior and wondered whether we should hold him to the same standards as others. If you say somebody got special needs, then why would you be watching them and holding them accountable like everybody else? But he didn't stop there. The comedian's blunt assessment continued as he delved into West's personal life, Williams didn't pull any punches when discussing West's ex-wife, Kim Kardashian. What do you expect? The guy married a he exclaimed, though quickly clarifying, I didn't mean it like that. I mean, he married her because she was one, not that he didn't know. He understood that he wanted that. He courted that. That's what he wanted to base his family on. Despite the explosive remarks, Cat Williams made it clear that he wasn't out to support or villainize he. No, I don't, I don't support or villainize Kanye because I don't understand what it is we want from him. His impassioned commentary raises questions about our society's role in shaping celebrities' behavior and perceptions. Could the spotlight and adulation have played a role in fueling West's controversial journey? These are questions that continue to hang in the air as we await the next chapter in this unfolding drama. You don't want to tell the guy that writes musical lyrics that he was a genius. <laughs> You're the one that's like so... <laughs> The interview has opened up a Pandora's box of speculations and debates surrounding West's actions and Cat Williams' no-holds-barred take on the matter. Will this interview mark a turning point in the ongoing saga of Ye, or is it just another chapter in the ever-evolving drama of celebrity life? As we dig deeper into the controversy surrounding these two larger-than-life personalities, one can't help but wonder what bombshells are still in store for us. Public opinion on Cat Williams' explosive interview dissecting West's controversial journey is anything but unanimous. As we delve into fan comments, it's evident that this revelation has sparked a lively debate among fans and observers. One fan eagerly exclaimed, I'm living for this interview. 
the minute my husband got home from work and told me there was a juicy interview with Cat Williams. My immediate response was, I believe him. I believe every word. He's been saying all this and never changed his tune. It seems this fan is firmly in Cat Williams' corner, echoing the comedian's sentiments and appreciating his unflinching honesty. On the other hand, another fan weighed in, offering a perspective that underscores the complexity of the situation. Cat is a really smart guy, as are most genuine comedians, they noted. He tells it as it is, even though we pretend like we don't know what he's talking about. This comment reflects the idea that Williams' candidness might be uncomfortable but potentially necessary. However, it's essential to acknowledge that these comments represent just a fraction of the broader public opinion. The general consensus on this matter remains elusive, with some supporting Cat Williams' outspoken critique, while others may have reservations about his approach. Now, dear viewers, we want to hear your thoughts on this explosive interview and the ongoing saga of West's controversial journey. Do you agree with Cat Williams' no-holds-barred take? Or do you think there's more to the story? Are we right to scrutinize celebrities like yeah for their behavior? Or should we, as Williams suggested, grade them on a curve if they have special needs? What do you make of the heated discussion surrounding West's ex-wife, Kim Kardashian? Drop your comments down below and let's keep this conversation going. Until then, keep those opinions flowing and we'll catch you in the next video.